Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So first off, we wanna give Puffy a huge thank you for partnering with us for today's video. We're so glad you guys are here. This is going to be a really exciting video. It's been a long time coming and we hope that you're just as excited as us to see the big reveal. So let's get started. Last year we did the black wall with the DIY headboard, which I think is still a really great project, but I just want a little bit different look. So we're just gonna be doing some minor updates, but really change the feel and the look of this room. Most of the walls are still the same color as when we moved in, which is kind of a really flat white. It's starting to look a little dingy, so I'm not crazy about it. I wanted to incorporate a few new furniture pieces into our bedroom. We also got a really great deal on a headboard from Crate and Barrel Outlet, so I definitely wanted to incorporate that somehow and maybe freshen things up with some new paint, some new hardware, and share with you guys just some very simple ways that you can refresh your space and give it a good new feeling without a huge price tag. We have also had this beauty still hanging for almost three years in our bedroom, so that needs to go, definitely. So you can see a little sneak peek of our new headboard. I put it there just to kind of get an idea of how tall it was or how high it was. So I found that leather headboard at Crate and Barrel and it's just the headboard. Um, normally it does have the sideboard and the footboard, but I got the headboard only for about $100 at the Crate and Barrel warehouse. So I had to snag it. I thought that was a great deal and it is gorgeous. So this is our flat white paint. It gets dirty really fast. And then these are our kind of dated, very basic doorknobs that we have all throughout the house, which I'm slowly going room by room and changing them out. So with any room update, I always like to start out with a mood board and pull some inspiration. So these are some things that I found online and I will link as much as I can for you guys down below, but these are basically some things that I had my eye on. So some new lighting, a new tree, these two rugs I have in my garage, so I will not be buying new rugs, but this um, leather bed was actually similar to the one we have. I couldn't really find the one that I got online. So I just pulled something that was somewhat similar. And the reason why I like to do this is it gives me a good visual. I'm a very visual person, so I like to see how things will look together if they kind of go, how the colors will look. And if things just don't seem right, then I just won't even go to buy them or even try it if I don't think that it looks right um, on the mood board. So these are the colors that I will be using. These are all throughout our house already. I use Benjamin Moore Alabaster and Revere Pewter. And both of these colors you can get at Ace Hardware. That is the easiest place to find them. And I just love the way these colors complement each other. They're very, very simple, neutral. I get the Revere Pewter in satin. It has a really pretty sheen and then and then I get the alabaster in eggshell for the walls. So if you are painting doors, this is my favorite tool to use for doors. It comes in a little kit, usually at Home Depot. It's the little roller for smooth surfaces. And then I also use a paintbrush for the doors with the little inlets. They're kind of a pain to paint, but with these two tools, it makes it very easy. So I'm going to start by taking off our hardware. There's just usually two little screws in the back that you unscrew and then they pop out really easy. I have been intimidated by doorknobs before at our old house and it is very, very simple, trust me. So after I wipe everything down and give it a good cleaning, I will then start painting the doors. I'm gonna start with the doors before the walls first, just because I feel like it. And um, yeah, so these little inlet part doors, I um, just paint with the paintbrush and make sure that I don't get any drips or anything. I do all of those little inlet Things, I guess that's what they're called. So the Revere Pewter is hard to see when it goes on, but then it dries a lot darker. So you can see this is the first coat and I like to do two coats of the Revere Pewter. You can see it almost looks white when it goes on, but it actually dries in more of a grayish brown type color. It's a really pretty color. 
after I paint the inlets, then I'll go with the roller and do the flat parts. So these are the knobs that I use throughout our house. I love these because they're super easy to find at Home Depot. They're very simple. This is the bed and bath. I like a lock on my closet door, so I am going to be using the one with the lock. You can also get them in the hallway style um, as well with no lock, but these come in a matte black finish and they're called the Bowery Knob. I love how simple these are and they're I think about $30 for um, one knob. Like I said, they're really easy to install. I just put that little middle part and then you match up the front and then the back and then you screw them together on the back part and then in the middle, if that makes sense. They're very easy to put on. Next up, I am going to start tackling the walls. So the white walls should be very easy to cover up. I'm not worried about those at all, but that black wall is definitely going to take a lot of paint or some primer. So I'm going to have to figure out how to tackle that wall. In the meantime, this is the alabaster. I love this color. It's kind of a warmer white, but it looks really bright on my walls, but it still is a warm white, trust me. Um, but yeah, this is a really great color and it complements the Revere Pewter so well. And I'm just gonna roll this on really easy. It should not take long at all with the white on white. If you guys remember, I DIY this tree last week and I have to move it out of the way. It's gonna stay in this corner, but I need to move it to paint. So I'm going to be doing the walls in alabaster and I wanna do the doors, the trim, and the baseboards in the Revere Pewter. So I masked off the baseboard and a little trick I like to do with baseboards and carpet is slip a piece of cardboard or cardstock, something that's kind of thin underneath the baseboard and you can paint right on top as long as you mask off the top it makes it super super simple and then you just slide the cardboard along as you go and you don't get drips or paint on your carpet i'm also going to be taking down these curtains we've had these for a really long time they're not blackout so i think you can actually see through them at night while i was growing up my dad would work on his cars in the garage or in the driveway and he always had music playing on like a little boom. It was like oldies or like rock and roll. So like when these songs come on, it just brings back like a ton of memories. So yeah, I don't know why. It's just like a good nostalgic music that I like to listen to when I'm... And so I had to start prepping to tackle this black wall. So the curtains came down And then it was time to move on to that headboard. So each little piece has, I think about eight screws in it. So I'm gonna have to unscrew all of those. It came off actually really, really easy though. It hasn't been up for that long. So I know that there are gonna be some screw holes that I'm going to have to fill in and sand and kind of fix that, which is no big deal at all. So this is what the wall looked like. Um, definitely some holes to fill in there, but not a problem. I just turn on my music and get to work. Well, today so it's kind of a big job I got to go get some primer because I may have underestimated <laughs> how much paint I'm gonna need to cover this up so we have the bed over there this is a little sneak peek so I ended up getting a can of primer at ace for just about $25 and it was enough to do two coats of the primer and it covered up the black so FYI if you have dark walls that you need to cover up the primer is the way to go um, and the least expensive way in my opinion. So this is what that wall looked like after one coat, I believe. It still was a little um, 
spotty, but definitely with two coats, it was all covered up, so. So then it was time to tackle that ceiling fan. <laughs> that thing needed to come down. It was way overdue. It's way past its lifetime. So this is the light that's going to be going up. We finally got the fan down and we are slowly but surely kind of starting to see some things come together. That headboard is just so gorgeous. I love it with the little tree and the white walls and the paint. It's all really starting to come together. So it's really exciting, but all the baseboards are now painted. So I can finally put that headboard in the place it's gonna go and kind of see the vision start to come to life. So we do have to put our bed frame together. We are changing our bed from a cow king to a king. So I like a little bit of a wider bed. We're not tall people, so we don't need such a long bed. I found this bed frame on Amazon. It's actually super sturdy. I was pleasantly surprised. It's pretty solid bed, so I will link it below if you guys are interested. But um, yeah, this one is about nine inches from the floor, so it is a little bit more low profile, which is what we needed for a lower profile headboard as well. And one of the things that we are the most excited about is a new mattress. So we partnered with Puffy Mattress and they sent us this amazing brand new King mattress. We are so excited to try it out. It was so easy to set up and oddly satisfying opening up that plastic bag and watching the mattress kind of puff up and expand. So one of the things that I love about this mattress is that it is a hybrid memory foam mattress. So it has contour adapt coils, which provide more stability, temperature control, and support for back pain. Now I am in my mid thirties and I am just getting to the point where if I sleep on a not so good mattress, I will feel it the next morning. So this is definitely needed. And we've now slept on this mattress for four nights and I have slept amazing. No back pain, it's temperature controlled, which I'm a really hot sleeper, so it is perfect for keeping me nice and cool all night long. Make sure you visit puffy.com and check out the number one ranked mattress for 2022. That's going to wrap up part one of our bedroom makeover. Make sure you guys are subscribed and stay tuned because part two will be out before you know it. We have a lot more projects and styling and decorating headed your way. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.